And what's up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, also known as Shadow Blade from Bloodshot Records. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys saw the video link that I posted, but uh, you know, as I said, y'all. You know, first off, I want to say I love my fans, and I love my haters too. Like, I love everybody equally, man. Like, my haters, my fans. Honestly, if it wasn't for the haters hating on me, I wouldn't know that I'm doing something right. So, thanks for the hate, y'all. Y'all let me know that I'm doing something right. What up, Kay? But, that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to talk about, you know, just the haters. I'm here to... Puts, put a couple people in their place, which is... And it's all right. But I'm not here to just focus on one hater. I'm here to focus on a couple haters that have been harassing me for months on it. Which is LMAOXD... Race King and Race God. Now, Race King and Race God, I kind of have an idea as to who they are. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm going to take you guys back to earlier this year and last year. When a lot of bad shit went down. And I mean real bad shit. Stuff that almost ruined my career and my life. Mm. And also shout out to the homies over in Japan for the tea, man. Fucking love this shit. Fucking love Japanese fans. Good shit. But, um, this dude, LAOXD, he's more of a recent hater. But the one that's a longtime hater is Race King and Race God. Now, they're one and the same. They're the same exact person. But... What it's not what they're doing, well, it is partly what they're doing, but it's what they're you know, it's basically what they're they did to me. You see, a while back, there was this girl that I was talking to, really cute, and she was for real. You know, me and her had known each other for years well, not years, but like over a year. You know, we were sitting down. You know, talking and everything. And, you know, we decided, hey, you know, we want to be together. And, you know, things got heated up. And we did stuff that, you know, normal couples do when they're, you know, in video chat and stuff. You know, like, especially when, you know, things got <clears throat> steamy. I'm going to let y'all, y'all's minds wander on that. But, you know, we did some stuff together. And... The one thing I didn't see coming, she basically stabbed me in the back in the worst way possible. And she basically, and this is so embarrassing for me to even talk about this, but it needs to be put out there. She basically filmed me doing, you know, certain things for her without my knowledge. I had no idea that she was even recording me doing those things for her and it's not just the fact that she did it without my knowledge that wasn't the worst part that was only part of it the worst part was she had the nerve to take that video that she took of me and posted it up on Vimeo for the entire world to see and as if that wasn't bad enough she took and put that she was eight years old and I did certain acts for an eight-year-old child when 
she was not eight years old. I've seen her ID before, like her actual ID. She is over 25 years old. And the reason why she did this is because of the fact that I wouldn't give her money that she thought I had. She thought I had money, but I don't. So what did she do? She got revenge by posting that video up on Vimeo, which next day it got taken down like that because enough people reported it. And for those of you that did report that video, I thank you guys. You like, you guys have no idea how important that was that you guys did that. Like, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Like, I, there's no amount of thank yous that could show my appreciation for you guys doing that for me. But, you know, after the video got taken down and everything like that, I thought it was all done and over until just recently. She appeared back up under the name Race King and Race God, talking about the videos, trying to expose me. Making me, trying to make me look like a bad guy when I wasn't. So I say this to the person that did that to me. You are vile, you are disgusting, and you are a monster. And you have no right being on social media. You recorded me without my knowledge. And then you took it too far by posting it up on to a public video site for the whole world to see. It's one thing if you would have kept the video for yourself, fine, whatever. But for you to post that shit up on a public video site? Do you have any idea what that could have done to my life? Do you have any idea what that could have done to my career as a music artist? You almost ruined my life. And I almost ended my career because of that. I, I'm lucky that my career didn't end because of your fucking games. See, you might think it's a game. But this is no game. Real people get involved and real people get hurt. And as for this dude, LMAOXD... I'm really getting tired of this shit. Okay? I don't know what you guys want from me. I really don't. I don't know what either of you guys want from me. But whatever it is, just leave me alone. Right, I'm trying to live my life doing what I love to do. Yes, I have multiple accounts because I do various things. I do photography. I do artwork. I do film and photography. I do film work. I do music. I do video games. So what if I have a YouTube bridge thing that I do? So fucking what? But that doesn't mean you have to come on to all my shit and just my shit. And fucking harass me. Enough is enough. I'm tired of the harassment. And if y'all want to know. Yes I do have fucking Instagram. Because everybody's like. Oh you don't have your stuff up on Instagram. And blah blah blah. Yes I do. I've actually got my Instagram right here. Now let me get to here. See, right here is my Instagram for my photography work, right there.
And if you guys would like to see the name that I'm under, it's under this right here. Chance underscore Wilkins underscore photography. Right there. So, you know, I do multiple things. You know, I do music, and when I'm not doing music, I'm either working on a film idea, a music video idea, or I'm doing photography or artwork. Or I'm, you know, keeping up with my gaming channel and recording gameplay footage. But honestly, I'm tired of the harassment. I'm tired of y'all fucking with me every damn day. And all you guys do is comment only on my stuff. And here's what I don't get. Like, instead of commenting bullshit comments and messing with me like you do, why not put some positive shit out there? And if you don't like what I do, then why watch my videos? If you don't like what I put out, then why watch them? If you don't like them, go watch something else. If you don't like the music that I do, there's plenty of other music out there. And if you don't like my films, hey, there's other films out there. And I know a ton of them that are out there, so... But honestly, though, enough is enough. I'm tired of the hatred being thrown my way. I'm tired of people trying to expose me for my past that I thought I had escaped. I'm tired of being called out on bullshit. I'm just a normal music artist. I'm just a normal guy trying to live his life doing what he do. Okay? I've worked 11 long years to get to where I'm at. And I'm not about to let, you know, two of you motherfuckers who are nothing but psychopathic, egotistical morons ruin my career or my life. I'm not letting you guys stand in my way. So say what you want about me. But when it comes to my past, and what happened with that video situation, leave that the fuck alone. And honestly, I'm tired of the harassment. And y'all sit there and wonder why I feel like I want to quit half the time. This is exactly why. Because of the harassment. And there's no point in getting the cops involved because all they're going to do is you know, track you guys down, arrest you, and then y'all are just going to be right back out doing the same shit again. But I'm asking you guys both. LMAOXD and Racing God slash Race King. I'm asking you both to please just leave me the fuck alone. And let me live my life. Alright? Stop messing with me. Stop being negative on my shit. Whatever I did to you guys in the past, I apologize. Okay? If I did anything to wrong either of you, I'm sorry. But what you guys did to me and what you guys do to me is far worse than anything I could ever do to you. Far worse. Especially you, Race King and or Race God. And what you did to me was not only vile and disgusting, but it was also a felony. You think you might not get caught, but one of these days you will get caught and you will get arrested for what you've done. It might not be my, by me, it might not be by the next person, but sooner or later you will get caught. Because what you did... Like I said, that is a felony. You not only invaded my privacy, you recorded 
a very private video of me without my knowledge. And then you had the balls to post it up on Vimeo for the whole world to see, trying to expose me and make me look like a bad guy when I'm not. I'm not some sick fucking mind-twisted idiotic pedophile. That's not me. My name is Chance Wilkins. I am a music artist. I am a painter slash digital artist. I'm a photographer, filmmaker. All right, I'm a gamer. This is what I do. This is my life's work. Everything I do isn't just to, you know, make money. This is my life's work. This is what I live off of. This is what I feed my family with. Yeah, I make a little bit of money here and there. Yeah, I might go on to you now and make like $300 a month doing live stream shows and stuff. But all that goes to my family and to charities that I support. That's what all that goes to. Yeah, I'll admit, I might not be rich, but at least I don't keep the money for myself. I know what it's like to give back to others. I give back to those who gave me everything. And for you guys to come along and try to expose me for something that I'm not, trying to make me out to be a pedophile when I'm not, do you have any idea how fucked up that is? How wrong and sickening and disgusting and vile that is? Like, do you guys not realize that you guys could be behind bars right now for this shit? For what both of you were doing? Enough is enough, you two. I'm tired of the bullshit. Okay? I'm tired of the harassment. I deal with enough harassment from record labels and the mainstream society as is. I deal with enough of it already. I don't need you two fucking morons doing the same shit. What I don't understand is why either of you guys can't just leave me alone. Like, why can't you guys Instead of being, you know, idiotic and cruel, why not be positive? Why not either help me out or help somebody else out? Spread positivity, not negativity. You know, lead by example. Like I said, I might not be rich, and I understand that. And I'm fine with that because I don't want to be rich. My goal with my music isn't to become rich or famous. My goal for my music is to help people and to provide and and to provide many opportunities for special needs kids that are into music. They're getting treated unfairly by the mainstream music industry. That is my goal, is to be the voice for the special needs community and to provide opportunities for them and to help people through those tough times, to help that one person that's thinking about suicide, to help that one person whose family has got cancer, to help that one person who feels like they're alone. That is the point of every fucking song that I put out. That is the point of all my music, is to let people know that they are not alone, that they have someone here for them. You might not like my music. I don't give a fuck. But what I do give a fuck about is you two assholes constantly trying to end my career, doing whatever you can to expose me for being a pedophile, which I'm not. 
If anyone's the sick, twisted one around here, it's you two. I don't need this shit. I don't need you two motherfucking assholes trying to ruin my life every five seconds of the goddamn day. What I want to know is what the fuck do you guys want from me? If you want me to quit YouTube or to quit my music, good fucking luck. It's not happening. If you want money, go to a fucking ATM machine. Because that's one thing I'm not is an ATM machine. I will not be used like I am one. Yeah, I've got a few expensive things to my name. So fucking what? I'm busting my ass for those things. Alright? The shoes, the watch, the jacket. I'm busting my ass for those things. And not because I wanted to be some, you know, high-end, cool, rich guy. No. I did them because I've never had anything like that growing up. Growing up, I was never rich. Growing up, I couldn't rock those new shoes. I couldn't rock the latest gear like I can now. Growing up... Like I said, we were never rich. Uh, and we always just barely got by on bills. And still do at times. But you don't understand the hard work that I put in just to make that little bit of money so that my family can get by. What do you know about being midway into your music career and watching your older brother die from lung cancer and pneumonia combined on top of AIDS, which was already killing him. What do you know about losing your best friend to fucking gunfire in their own shop? What do you know about losing your childhood best friend to a brain aneurysm who you haven't seen in 16 plus years. What do you know about sleepless nights? Of busting your ass, doing what you gotta do. What do you know about take rejection after rejection from every fucking record label on the goddamn planet? What do you know about everybody in the world telling you that you're not good enough, but yet you sit there and do it anyways because you have that select few that fucking believe in you? What do you know about pouring your heart and fucking soul into every fucking song that you write to help you because you've been there. You know what it's like to be on the edge of suicide. What do you know about staying up at night, falling your fucking eyes out? Because the ones that you cared about most are either dead or in jail. What do you know about growing up without a dad who actually gives a shit? What do you know about your own father wasting his life away doing drugs marijuana, and basically every fucking thing on the goddamn planet. What do you know about that? You know nothing about that. What do you know about being mentally and verbally abused for seven plus years by the girl that you thought that you were supposed to spend the rest of your life with? 
What do you know about that shit? What do you know about every girl you want to get with fucking using you for money? Trying to get something out of you. You know nothing about my fucking life. Either of you. So why did you two asshole motherfuckers go the fuck on somewhere? I am tired of the bullshit. Enough is enough. Yes, I am the voice for the special needs community. And I'm proud to fucking say it. Because like them, I've been judged my whole fucking life. And another thing you guys know nothing about is fighting for your life every fucking day like I do. You know nothing about being born one pound ten ounces with one and a half lungs and one kidney. And facing death every day knowing that the day that you wake up can be your very last day. You know nothing about what it's like to be me. Yes, I may be half blind from eye surgery as a kid. But you know what? I don't let that stop me. Do I fear death every day? Of course. Because I know that any day I wake up could be my last. And there's nothing I can fucking do about it. Not a goddamn thing. But you know what? I don't let that stop me. I stare death in the face every day and say, fuck you. You are not taking me today. I am going to live. I am going to live my life until I am old and gray. I am not giving up. You do not know what that's like. So what right do you have judging me? You are not God. You have no right judging me. The only person that has that right to judge me is God himself. Not you and not anyone else. So if you want to sit there and play fucking God, go ahead. But everybody knows the truth. You're not a God at all. You guys are false gods. You're pretending to be gods, when really, you're a bunch of low-life, idiotic scumbags with nothing better to do with their life than to fucking troll on people and try to ruin others' lives just because you guys feel fucking miserable about yourselves. And I'm sorry that you guys feel miserable about, miserable about yourselves. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that. But just because you feel miserable and bad about yourself, that doesn't give me the fucking right to do that to other people like myself. And you wonder why I'm so fucking pissed off all the time at you guys? Gee, I fucking wonder why. You don't see the fight every fucking day. You don't see the judgment that I get. The hatred that I get. You don't know what it's like to be in my shoes. So unless you know what it's like to be me. What right do you have to judge me? Maybe once you walk in my own my shoes. Maybe then you can judge me. But I doubt that you can comprehend the hell. That I've grown up through my entire life. And that's not my mom's fault. That's not my family's fault. That's society's fault. People in society have judged me my whole life. My whole life. I've been looked down upon my whole life. And my blood family was really the only ones that stood up for me growing up. Along with some of my best friends.
And the one thing you will never, ever understand. And this is something I very rarely fucking talk about, if at all. The one thing you guys will never understand. Ever. Is losing your very first high school sweetheart to a car accident. And watching her die as your ex-best friend gets hauled off to jail. While she's sitting there dying. And you can't do anything to stop that what do you know about that what do you know about watching your best friends who are in the military die on the news every fucking day watching their limp bodies being drugged off the battlefield what do you know about that I have been through more shit than most should ever, most anyone should ever have to go through. I have been through hell and back. And I survived just barely. I have witnessed and gone through more shit than most can ever comprehend. And that's what makes me the person that I am. I take those experiences and I try to help people with them. You know nothing about my life. So LMAO XD and Race King and or Race God, you guys can go fuck yourselves. I am tired of the bullshit. I am sick of you two motherfuckers constantly riding my ass. Okay? Right. I get enough harassment from society, like I said. I don't need it from you two jackasses as well. Because I have a job to do. And my job is my music. My job is my film work. My my photography. My artwork. My gaming. That's my job. And more importantly, the one job that I hold highly above all else is helping those with special needs. Being the voice for them. Creating opportunities for them. That is my number one job. Yeah, you're right. I might not be rich. I might not have a massive fan base. I might only be making a few dollars here and there every six weeks, every six months. But so fucking what? At least I made my dream real. Yeah, I may have had to bust my ass for 11 years to get here and to get this far. But you know what? That 11 years of hard-ass work was fucking worth it. But what I don't understand is why you two feel like you have to harass me. I don't get it. What do you two want from me? If you want an apology for whatever I did to hurt you, fine. I apologize. I'm sorry for whatever I did to wrong you. But do not sit there and judge me. Do not sit there and try to make me out to be a fucking pedophile when I am nothing like that. I am not a fucking pedophile. I hate pedophiles. My own birth father that went to jail when I was born was a pedophile. And I am nothing like him. He went to jail for statutory rape on a 16-year-old. And granted, he's out and hasn't done it since, but that don't matter. In my eyes, he will always be a pedophile. 
in my eyes. Anybody who does anything like that is sick in the fucking mind and belongs in jail. But the one thing I am not is a pedophile. So stop trying to make me out to be one. Stop trying to expose me for something that you did. You guys are the ones that took that video without my knowledge. Yes, I shouldn't have done this shit in the first place. Lynn. I understand that. I was wrong in even doing that. I was wrong in fucking trusting you. And some motherfuckers like you that make very real innocent people like myself who are honest and kind and caring look bad. It's people like you and like my ex Rebecca who mentally and verbally abused me. It's y'all that make people like me the way that we are, scared to be with anybody. Because of people like you, I'm afraid to be with anyone because I've constantly got that fear and anxiety of being cheated on and hurt again. I am tired of it. I just want to live my life. That's all I want. Enough is enough. I can't take your guys' bullshit no more. This has to stop. And now. I will not put up with it any longer. And if anybody here wants their profiles on YouTube, I will gladly send you their links. And I will send you screenshots of what they send me and basically comment on my videos every fucking day. I will gladly show that to you guys. So if you would like to screenshots, message me and I will send them right away. And to all my fans out there, I fucking love you guys. You guys are fucking amazing. Without my fans, I ain't shit. Without all my fans and everybody who has supported the years, I would not be here. It has been 11 long years, and I finally made it. And I'm not looking back. So the motherfucking LMAOXD and Race King and or also known as Race God, you guys can go to fucking hell. I will not be stopped by either of you. And I will not be exposed for something that I'm not. Which is a sick, disgusting pedophile. I will not be brought down anymore. And to everyone out there who has special needs, or knows somebody that has special needs, I fucking love you guys. You guys are the reason that I do what I fucking do every day. And just know that you guys have a voice, and I am that voice. And I will continue to be that voice until my dying breath. And I will continue to create opportunities for you guys the best that I fucking can. Because like you guys, I know what it's like to be judged. I get judged every fucking day of my life. You guys are not alone. I fucking love you guys. And everybody else out there that is special needs and is getting judged and getting picked on and belittled by society, stay strong. We've got this fight. And we will show the mainstream that we are not to be trifled with and that we are not to be taken lightly and that we will not be pushed aside and that we will not be pushovers anymore. This is our time. And I got you guys' backs.
So to everybody out there who has special needs, stay strong. We will win this war. I don't care how fucking long it takes. We will make this happen. You guys are my biggest fucking inspiration every fucking day. You guys, all of you who are special needs, you guys are the reason that I do what I fucking do. Everyone from Nick to my friend Corey Wright's son, Joseph, you guys are the fucking reason that I do what I do every day. You guys have a voice, and I'm that voice. So whenever I do this or this, this isn't just a fucking sign of heavy music. This is a sign of strength and support for the special needs community because we've got this fight. So whenever you guys listen to my music and you start doing this, just remember that is a symbol of hope from me to you guys. That is a of showing that you are powerful. You are strong. And together we can overcome this. And we will overcome this. Come hell or high water. I would rather die than give up this fight. So to everybody out there in the mainstream that wants to battle special needs people and push us aside and act like we're nothing, I say this to you. Go fuck yourselves. Because this war, we will win one way or another. And I will not stop until I make sure that every single kid who has special needs and does music gets a fair opportunity. So to everybody that is out there that, you know, is special needs or no one knows someone that is, I want you to show them this. I want you guys to show them this video. And if you can, get a picture of them doing this. And if they can't, that's quite all. a picture of you with them anyway. Because you know what? We've got this fight. We can fucking win this. And to both my haters, LMAOXD and Race King slash Racing God, I say this. Fuck you. You are not stopping me. And you are not going to ever bring me down.